High school is a great time to explore your interests in an effort to discover and harness your passions. Doing so can lead to successful career identification and preparation. Here at McIntosh High School, we are making all efforts to accommodate students in finding and developing such interests. Our elective courses and pathways have expanded in recent years, providing students with more options than ever before. But with over 75 course offerings in 27 different pathways, the options for students can be somewhat overwhelming and difficult to narrow down. To help you find your right path, here is some more information regarding each pathway. If you want to take courses that will help set the foundation for a possible career, then look no further than the Career and Technical Education Pathways. These pathways cater to many students' interests. Course offerings are designed to provide students with the sufficient skills and hands-on experience that are much different to other course offerings. If you're interested in learning about marketing and running a school store, sign up for three courses. Marketing Principles, Marketing and Entrepreneurship, and Marketing Management. Students that are in the Marketing Pathway are going to have the opportunity to join DECA and complete, compete in Atlanta and region and state competitions. Marketing students are also going to create a school store and run it, brainstorming product ideas, purchasing and selling to make a profit. Students will use virtual business retailing software to simulate retailing, controlling pricing, staffing, products, and more. If you are a creative type and like technology, graphic design may be a great place for you. If you are interested in careers that involve the artistic side of designing and producing art for print media such as posters, billboards, t-shirts, magazines, or digital media such as animation, advertising, websites, video games, and other digital media, then graphic design is a place for you. Good evening. My name is Alan Beal, and I'm in my 10th year teaching here at Macintosh. I will be teaching the financial literacy pathway next year. In your first year, the students will learn business ethics, resumes, Socratic sales, marketing, accounting, business plans, and more. Also, the students will have an opportunity to work on the Fall Festival, PALS Talent Show, and become certified in Microsoft Word. In the second year, students will have the opportunity to learn budgeting, how to purchase a home, how to purchase a car, the different types of retirement options, the dangers of excessive debt, but most importantly, the difference between being able to buy something versus being able to afford it. In the third year, I will introduce the students to net interest margin as we dive deeper into the concepts and other financial factors they will experience in their future. The AV Technology and Film classes here at McIntosh High School covers all aspects of audio and video film production. From pre-production to production to post-production, students will have an opportunity to work cooperatively and independently on tons of different projects. Students will participate in a variety of hands-on productions where they will learn about topics such as advanced camera techniques, audio production, script writing, producing, directing, and editing. Students will also have an opportunity to showcase their talents as they will be a part of the daily morning announcement show. Students will write, shoot, edit, and produce video content for the morning announcement show. The digital animation pathway has three courses. The first course, Introduction to Digital Media, tackles traditional 2D animation topics, emphasis in drawing, using Photoshop, and Adobe Premiere and After Effects to edit videos. The second year course, Animation Principles, will further do 2D animation uh, and start introducing 3D animation using Maya, Autodesk Maya. Um, the third level class, Advanced Animation Game and App Design, will take those 2D and 3D skills and will use the Unreal Engine to make games that can be played on a variety of platforms. Pathway, students use a variety of uh, programs. They use uh, Autodesk Inventor, uh, where they do 3D modeling. Uh, right now, the Tech Engineering 3 students are using Robot C, where they're programming their robots to do multiple tasks, uh, multiple challenges. Uh, we'll do competitions throughout the year. Uh, we'll do bridge design competitions. We'll do uh, CO2 dragster competitions, mousetrap competitions. Uh, we'll also do a, a VEX robotics competition in April. Um, where we'll be doing the uh, VEX national competition, but we'll be doing it in an accounting setting, which will compete against Stars Mill and Sandy Creek and Whitewater High School. 
Hi, my name is Carmen Yarborough and I teach the Nutrition and Food Science Pathway here at McIntosh High School. The Nutrition and Food Science Pathway consists of the classes Food Nutrition and Wellness, Food for Life, and Food Science. In the Food Nutrition and Wellness class, this is the introductory class, and in here students will learn the basics of cooking principles as well as wellness factors applied to everyday life. In the Food for Life class, well, we break down all the nutrition that we learned in the first level class and apply it throughout the lifespan. So we include topics like pregnancy, infants, toddlers, teenagers, and the older adult years. In food science, we take a lot of the cooking principles that we learned in the first level and put more scientific meaning behind them. So while this is still a heavily cooking class, we do it more for a scientific basis rather than for the experimentation process like in the first level class. The healthcare science pathway is a great option for students interested in a medical career. The introduction to healthcare course is offered during the first year where they learn all things healthcare. The second year is an anatomy and physiology course focusing on the diseases and disorders of each body system. The students in this class not only receive credit for essentials of healthcare at McIntosh, but they also earn college credit for medical terminology through Southern Crescent Technical College. They also have many opportunities to learn hands-on healthcare skills. During the third year, students that go off campus to the Center of Innovation, where they can choose from five different courses that will complete their pathway. Students have the opportunity to earn industry-recognized medical assisting certification in the first two options, Allied Health or Medical Assisting. In the patient care pathway, they can receive their CNA, which is a Certified Nurse Assistant Certification. There are also opportunities to pursue EMR, Emergency Medical Responder, and Phlebotomy, where students learn how to draw blood. After completing all three years of this pathway, students can graduate with a certification that allows them to enter the healthcare industry right out of high school. I'm Rob Kramlick. I'm the computer science teacher here at McIntosh. Uh, in our pathway, we have three different courses, Intro to Digital Technology, AP Computer Science uh, Principles and AP Computer Science A. In Intro to Digital Technology, uh, we teach web design along with uh, JavaScript. In Computer Science Principles, AP Computer Science Principles, it's an introduction college level course for non-majors. So if you were a uh, history student and you took an elective in college uh, and it was a computer science elective, that would be this course. Uh, we go through and talk about big data, we talk about the internet, and we also program in Python that year. Uh, AP Computer Science A is my third level course. It is uh, a challenging course, but it's an introduction level course uh, for majors. So students who are planning to major in computer science in college, this would be the equivalent course they would take their first year. Uh, we go through the whole year um, learning about Java, learning about um, how to build and create classes, and really get down to the core of programming. Next, let's take a look at fine arts. If you have a passion for the arts, then choosing one of these pathways would be ideal. These courses provide great outlets for students to develop their ability. You don't have to know how to draw in order to sign up for a visual arts course at Macintosh. You just have to have the desire to learn and to grow. In the initial course, we um, go over drawing, painting, working with 3D, and then after that course, you go on to take advanced drawing and painting, and you may even become eligible to sign up for AP 2D Design and AP Drawing. Um, everyone is welcome in an art class at Macintosh. Not only do these courses provide the opportunity to develop your artistic ability, they also provide outlets for students to showcase their ability. The Chorus Pathway provides students a variety of opportunities to perform their musical talents. From concerts for their friends and family members, to Fine Arts Day where they perform for their peers here at school, to our very large variety show, We Study Music from Bach to Beyonce. Join Chorus! One of the things I love about teaching theater is that it's not just about theater. Uh, they're learning acting skills, uh, they're learning about the literature of theater, but more importantly to me, they're learning how to present themselves to an audience, which is a skill that they're going to need the rest of their life. Even if they never set foot in the theater, at some point in their life, they will have to give a presentation, uh, have times in which they have to get in front of a group of people and get across some kind of information. So by taking even one acting class, that's going to help already. And hopefully during that class, they will fall in love with acting. 
Hi, my name is Ray Litowich, and I teach orchestra, AP music theory, and guitar here at Macintosh. For orchestra students, prior experience is necessary. For guitar, we take people of all levels, and for AP theory, you need to have tested in. Hope to see you soon. We do have a band pathway. You do not need to be a music major or minor in college in order to take this pathway. It just kind of assures that you get in the band class that you've auditioned for. Um, so we hope you guys will be a part of it. Not only do we have band classes, we have marching band, we have jazz bands, we have different ensembles that you can be a part of. So um, something for everyone depending on what you're interested in doing. If you want to learn a new instrument, we also have a beginning band and we'd love to have you um, be a part of that. Our bands do great things. We have a band performing this Friday at Kennesaw State, which is an auditioned event. We are taking all the band kids to the symphony the week after that. And our marching band um, finished last season with all superior ratings and won some of our class awards at marching band competition. So on behalf of the Spirit of Macintosh, come out and we look forward to having you be a member of our band classes and to be a Macintosh chief. If you want to broaden your horizon and get immersed in another culture, then perhaps studying world languages is the best fit for you. Macintosh has pathways in French, German, Latin, and Spanish. At Macintosh, students can choose from four languages. We offer levels one through four in German and Latin, and in Spanish and French, we offer levels one through AP. Students, including those currently enrolled in Spanish or French at Booth, are free to choose any of the languages offered for their course of study. We highly recommend that students complete three years of the same language. By doing so, students will earn the World Language Pathway, which is the only academic pathway that does not require an advanced placement course. In addition, three years of the same language are required for students who are pursuing the International Skills Diploma Seal. This seal is awarded by the State Department of Education to students who complete an international education curriculum and engage in extracurricular and service activities that foster the achievement of global competencies. For students who have outside language experience, placement tests are available in order to determine the appropriate course level. Other pathway options do exist besides those previously discussed. Academic pathways in math, science, English, and social studies are available. To complete a pathway in one of these areas, students are required to pass three or four courses in the given content area as well as complete two world language courses. Hello folks, this is Mr. Abel. I'm the debate teacher and coach uh, in debate class, which should really be called speech and debate. Uh, we uh, debate uh, sometimes controversial topics. Uh, we give speeches about things that we are passionate about. We do mock trials in class. Um, speech and debate is a great way to get accustomed to standing in front of people and speaking and of course, uh, looking at certain important topics in the news. I hope you'll consider uh, debate class uh, for your next uh, schedule. Good morning, my name is John Steiner and I teach the elective current issues. During this class, we take a look at world issues that are current in the news. We spend some time each day taking a look at the nightly news and discussing, questioning, analyzing what is happening in the news and in the world. We spend time looking at some current topics that are relevant and different issues that the students are interested in and would like to learn more about. I'm Ms. Nirenberg and welcome to Law and the Individual. So you're going to learn a lot whether you plan to be a lawyer or you're going to study law in college or you just want to know more about how the law applies to you. So we're going to say Law and the Individual is basically like an intro to law course, Law 101, and teaches the fundamental aspects of law in an interactive and interesting way. Individual law helps others understand the basics of law while being able to apply these basics in a mock trial. You'll learn about a lot of cool things and meet amazing new people. Hi, I'm Ms. Steen. I teach mythology. It is an academic elective, so we do a little bit of reading and writing. We read a lot of myths from Greek mythology, from Norse mythology, and all over the world. Myth is really fun, it's really silly, it's really weird, so we do a lot of projects and fun activities, and we have a good time. 
Hey, I'm Stephen Bain. I teach the SAT prep class here at McIntosh High School. Uh, the class basically is just a, uh, covers the basics of what's on the SAT. It breaks the class into sections on math and reading and language. And then we do multiple tests to kind of improve our scores. And it's a one semester course and that makes it weird, but uh, it's a good course and a lot of people like it because you don't have to pay all of the money that you would to take this class away from school. So that's basically the whole gist of it. It is just SAT skills test taking strategies so that uh, your kids can beat the college board at their own game. Hey guys, I'm Ms. Gasney and I'm here to tell you a little bit about psychology and sociology. It's a great elective because it's really applicable for after high school. You learn about people and how they think and why they make the decisions that they make. And then in second semester, you learn about groups of people and why groups of people act differently um, in our culture and different countries. It's a really unique class, a fun environment, and we have a really great time. So please sign up because you won't regret it. Hi, I'm Ms. Hansen. I teach U.S. History and Film. It is a course for 11th and 12th graders. In U.S. History and Film, we watch movies and we kind of think about how popular culture presents history um, and what movies kind of say about American society. I will say the class is pretty student driven. Um, if students have a really, a subject they really, really love, then I'll try to find a movie and some things that we can kind of look at to talk about it a little bit more in depth. We're currently on a unit in sports history uh, in the United States and how film kind of reflects our American values and how sports kind of create those American values. And we'll probably end the year talking about sitcoms and how sitcoms in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s kind of reflected the issues of the day and how popular culture kind of treated what was in the news and what was going on. I'm Shannon Wolf, and I'm the advisor to Macintosh Student Media, which is made up of the Macintosh Trail student news site, mhstrail.org, and the Legend Yearbook. The Legend Yearbook is a 2020 program of excellence nationwide, and the Macintosh Trail has also won a number of statewide writing and photography awards. But don't take my word for why you should join our staff why don't I let the staff tell you? Hi, my name is Izzy Pulius. I'm the arts and entertainment editor here on the trail staff. I would say probably the most important qualities for being a trail staffer is you have to be passionate about what you're doing. You also have to be good at um, meeting a schedule, sticking to a schedule, and you also have to be able to work as a team. So I think my favorite thing about the trail was being able to do podcasts. So over the summer, my before my junior year, I was really into podcasting. And so then I was able to take that into school and make this great booth and everything. Hello, I'm Grant from the Macintosh Yearbook staff. Uh, what I do is I go around taking pictures of events that are going on at the school. You get to use all sorts of different cameras, such as Nikons, Canons, uh, all that good stuff. Hi, I'm London, I'm a freshman. There are a lot of skills you kind of want to either have when you go into yearbook or like develop as you finish yearbook between being good at like your own little niche like maybe you're really into photography but you have to like expand open and maybe get into writing or like graphic design. Hi I'm Emma, I'm the design editor on staff and this is why you should join yearbook. You have free access to sporting events and theater events, um, you get a lot of new people and you have lots of creative freedom. We're also a book of excellence, so it looks good on a lot of college resumes. Hello, I am Lee Belknap, Department Chair for Health and Physical Education. I teach weight training and personal fitness. We look forward to teaching you. We will help you achieve your fitness goals and become the best version of yourself. We look forward to having a great school year, and go Chiefs!